find it quite ironic that normally when I'm coming up to the northeast to watch City, it's colder up here than it is when I left Manchester. Today, as you can see from this clip, it was snowing when we left Manchester, or certainly Oldham where I live. But as you can see here with the time bridge behind me, it's not snowing at all. Uh, it's a bit chilly, of course, and that is the great Tyne River. You know what, I love Newcastle. Newcastle is a city, it's full of heritage. The great shipping uh, companies that would have worked down there, of course, and, and the hive of activity that Newcastle would have been in the past. And did you realize, and I have to admit, I've been here many, many times, I didn't realize this, that Newcastle actually has a castle. It's not very new though. The city also has these, the great idea, uh, a bike where you can commute around the city and just pay a small amount to, to use it whenever you want. They'd be great in Manchester, wouldn't they? I wonder if they've got a copy of the 1968 programme when City won the league here. Shall I go and ask? Excuse me, you, obviously you have a lot of programmes here. I don't suppose you've got the 68 game City against Newcastle when City won the league, have you? Yeah, I'll have a look for you. Thank you. Yep, there it is. Well, that's it. So how much does that go for? Have you any idea what price that is? That's uh, £50. £50? Yeah. Yep. Wow. I don't think I've seen one of those before. I'm not supposed you've got uh, Colin Bell's autobiography by Ian Cheeseman, have you? I'll have a look for you. Yes, got it there. Oh, fantastic. I'm Ian Cheeseman. All oh, right. <laughs> we'll have to get you to sign it for us. Have you sold a lot? It's sold really well, yeah. We've had it in a while. It's done really well. What a great shop this is. The back page is just near Newcastle's ground. I highly recommend it, and not just because they sell my book. Hello, my name's Mick Edmondson. Uh, I'm the owner of the back page, founder and owner. Um, we've been here for 15 years. Um, and I'm good friends with Dennis Stewart. Um, you used to live next to him or across the road? Or yes, something? I'm from Walker in the East End in Newcastle. So, um, um, although Dennis, you not mind the same, Dennis is a bit older than I am. Um, <coughs> I'm 53, so from the age of five, I used to play football. Dennis was just moving out round about then when he signed with Sunderland, late 60s, early 70s. And uh, I used to spend a lot of time with his brother, Kevin. Um, and uh, Kevin was also a good footballer. And obviously, uh, Dennis broke my heart when he... He uh, won the cup with Sunderland in '73, um, and then obviously '76 he scored the overhead kick in the League Cup final. Um, although he was quick enough at the full time uh, whistle to put a black and white top on. If you look in all the photos, he's the only person with a black and white top on in the Man City team because uh, he's a black and white. Once a black and white, always a black and white. Have Newcastle got any chance tonight? Um, we are terrible, absolutely terrible. Um, got some cracking centre-halves, probably the best we've had in my history, four or five of them. Um, we've got no goal sure power, no goal threat. <laughs> I'm sure we <laughs> usually do. Um, you know, let's look at it. I mean, Man City have got a great side. I was down there at the yard and I thought Man City, you know, I think it was 2-1, wasn't it? And I, you know, there's... Well, well, we've been quite close to Man City over the last few years, unlucky on a couple of occasions. But if you look at the, I think the stats here, something like the last 38 points, I think Man City were 36 against Newcastle. Um, but tonight, this sounds crazy because I think we've lost nine um, of what, what, 13 games, I think. Lost nine, drew two, one, two. I don't think Man City will win tonight. That sounds crazy, but. And we're a very poor team. I just summic the weather could get up to minus five. Here I am with the king of all Geordies in your homeland. What's it feel like to be here? I know you're a big blue, but you've also got Newcastle blood in your veins, haven't you? Yeah, it's always very exciting to come back here. You know, you know the uh, the passion from the time I played for uh, Newcastle School Boys. Fantastic city for uh, for football, and uh, nice to be back. I've just been speaking to somebody who was your neighbour who runs a shop around the corner who speaks very highly of you. So you've always got great roots down here, haven't you? Yeah, the back page is a great shop for all the memorabilia, especially if you're a Newcastle fan. And nice to see he's doing well. And uh, I've done a couple of uh, visits to his shop and it's 
very, do very well. Are you expecting a comfortable win? City's record here now in recent years is phenomenal, isn't it? Yeah, it has. Uh, I'm obviously expecting just to win. Uh, you look at the situation with Newcastle and you're just hopeful that they get, get their act together uh, once the transfer window is finished and they get themselves a bit of a run, uh, getting some points in their bag because the City de deserves to be in the Premier League. You're not wearing any colours tonight, is that, is that deliberate? I've got a blue shirt on, does that help? That'll help. <laughs> Are you old enough to have been here in 68? Oh yes. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Came by train, it was... Uh, not quite working on the railways, just about to, but yeah, it was here. Some people, some younger fans won't even realise that City won the league before oh, yeah. 2012. It was, well, it had been, a, had been a while since we won the league in 68, but uh, yeah, I can remember. I got I came on the, one of the supporters' coaches, highlight of the journey was uh, passing some guy somewhere on the A1, uh, coming a lift with a, and he got a broken leg. Still remember that some guy on crutches. No, not sure whether he got to the match, but I presume he did. What do you remember of the game? Is it just the game? The goals? Is it just no, the no, no. Well, I mean, obviously remember the score line and the goals going in, and uh, and and then suddenly going two goals clear in the second half, and thinking, yes, we've cracked it. Um, late challenge from Newcastle, making it four three, but it was too late to do anything about it. And uh, I was on the pitch, collected a bit of the gr pitch, a bit of the pitch. Which went in a in a small plastic pot in the back garden, and until it died. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, it was great fun. <laughs> Is this a special visit for you? I mean, it's changed a lot, Newcastle around. Hasn't it's it? changed a lot, yeah. I mean, the uh, I've been back a few times. I'm not sure we always have uh, cold winter evenings coming here, but that's what we do. It seems uh, we had a decent journey tonight, despite the weather. So uh, yeah, looking forward to it. And another win, hopefully. I certainly hope so. Yeah, yeah. Well, well. If we get that uh, one point behind Liverpool tonight, that really would be useful, I think. Yeah, put the pressure on them. Expecting, I'm expecting, I'm expecting City to win. I'd say probably 2-0, 3-0, but I think Newcastle will make it difficult for the first half an hour. Freezing. Oh. Comfortable win, I think. You got a few Comfortable. layers on. Pardon? You got a few layers about on. About four, about four, I think. Is that all? Four? Comfortable win tonight, 2-0 easy. What do you reckon? 3-0 City, Con Aguero hat-trick. Confident, pretty confident. confident Very confident. Is they not going to throw everybody behind the ball a bit today, Newcastle? Could do, but I think easy win, no matter what. Always back to City. Comfortable win. I'm thinking, if we can get two early, then off to come out and we can get three or four. You're confident of a win, but it's just not many goals. Yeah, like last year we were here, it got to 1-0 and we couldn't get the second and then it equalised right near the end. So it's, yeah, just getting that cushion, I think. What about the view here? It's a bit different at Newcastle, isn't it? I've never been up this end before. We were in with the Newcastle fans last year, so I've never been in the away well, end here. You know the reputation is that there's about a million stairs. Yeah, behind. yeah, yeah, I'm building myself up for that. You're like watching Sabuti up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More or less the same thing, just... Need to, need two because they get one corner, one set piece, or one breakaway. Then you, you can throw the game, and at this point in the season, we can't really do with throwing anything at the moment. It's about getting an early goal. Really. Yeah, because you think it bring them out, but last year it didn't. But if you can even bring them out ten yards, then there's too much space for us. Well, uh, it's freezing for a start. Uh, what a great ground to be at. Um, Hoping for three points, keep the pressure on the Scousers. Um, we're looking back to to ourselves, and that's it. What time do you C set off? Come on, City. Uh, about two o'clock. Struggle getting through the snow, but we got here, ready for the game. Yeah, time off work or? Yeah, day off today and tomorrow, but it's all worth it for the Blues. And you confident we'll win today? Then? Confident we'll win, yeah. And you're, you're here with points. today. You with your dad? I'm with my dad. Uh, free merch, yeah. Making the, taking the what, the you think, what do you reckon? <laughs> well, I'm hoping 4-5 nil. But I hope they score one because I like to see the uh, Jordy Roy, as you call it. Really? Oh, yes. But if they do score one, we'll have to go for six, won't we? Have you got a bit of a soft spot for the Jordys, then? Yeah, I have, actually. Yeah. They actually are quite yeah. a decent people, yeah. aren't they? But, uh, every time I've come up here, we've had good crack with Quick fans have been really uh, So, it, yeah, I've got a soft spot. So, 4 1 will do you. 
four one. But I'm all two for six. Oh, it's a Sergio Aguero after a very acrobatic header by David Silva in the very early seconds of the game. He's sitting up 1 0 lead at the break, but the big talking point was the booking of Kevin De Bruyne for a quickly taken free kick, which Aguero brilliantly converted. And all right, you can pull it back, but why book Kevin De Bruyne? Very strange decision. City lead by a goal to nil though at the break. Just think he's football the way it is. We've probably played too much of it in the last two weeks. But you know, they've rested players on Saturday. We beat Burnley. They've given up in a game against Watford. I just think we're playing too much football. That's top and bottom of it. Didn't we didn't play we didn't perform tonight and that's football. I'm not giving it up though. I won't give the champ I won't give the title up yet. Everyone else will, but I won't. Long way to go yet, Ian. Long, long way to go. Devastated. I thought that we were I thought we were never at it. I didn't think we were there today. I thought that we tried and tried, but it was just blocked off 11 and no way we could get through. But there was no invention. Somebody was missing there today, I thought. Did you, son? You're not throwing a towel in yet in the title race, are you? Sorry? You're not Throw the towel in the title race. race. You can't throw it in and give it to them scousers. You can't do that. You've got to fight at the end. But yeah. we it's came... all in their hands now, isn't it? It's all up to them now. Whether they do it or not. Okay. His first game, you remember the 11.30 kick off at Everton? With Everton, that was his first ever game as a little lad. My first game, 1974, nil-nil, Tottenham and City. <laughs> Summerby, running down the wing, Colin Bell, that's what I remember. That's what got me City. That's me, yeah. So, we can't give up, but it's, it's a long shot now. We need Leicester to do it for us, don't we, Amara? seemed off the pace a bit and the mistakes from Danilo and Walker I don't want to single anybody out and the last touch wasn't fast enough you're a bit upset about the, the disallowed goal were you? yeah I was yeah De Bruyne took a perfect free kick Sergio I think put it in perfect free kick and it was meant to take it again why? different ball game if we'd won two nil up but we, I don't know, we didn't seem compact enough. Every last ball, was, we were losing it. That's all. That's all I've got to say. It's not, it's not over though yet, is it? I don't know. No, come on Leicester, win tomorrow. Personally, I thought at 1-0, I thought Newcastle was still in the game. They had chances. I thought the ball, possession-wise, very good, but couldn't pass to anybody tonight. The passing was not, we weren't on it. Uh, too many players with off games. Silver, I've never known so defensive, really, from David. Uh, not on it at all. Do you think if uh, uh, the goal that was disallowed had gone in it, it had made a difference? I think it had made a difference, yeah. I think we could have gone on and got three or four, but I believe from the reports at home he was told not to take it. Uh, so if the rest told him not to take it, then fair dues. But again, is there anything in the rule book that said he should have been booked? Maybe not. But I agree the goal should have got disallowed if that was the case. So, you giving up? I never give up. Uh, you know, you can't win every game. You can't. You know, you, you're going to have to draw some. You're going to have to lose some. Uh, we've lost four now. You can still win the league with losing four games. It's going to be a tough ask. Liverpool seem to be doing it when they're not playing well, but I still think we're in there. It's too many games to go, but it'll be tough. It'll be tough. We, we, we should have finished it in the first half. We had enough chances just should have finished it in the first half. As the game goes on, they're, they're just looking for a free kick, you know, corner, anything. That's football though, isn't it? That's football, of course it's football. You've seen but, it before, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I've seen it before. <laughs> but that's, that's Rafa's plan, isn't it? Not all men behind the back. And we'll stay in the game till the last 10 minutes and then we'll push. But it worked for them, Oh, it, it worked for them, yeah, it worked for them, but... Not our night. Not our, definitely not our night. Not our night. I thought the subs was a bit strange. Gundogan and I had a but Mara's on. You know, he comes on. What does he do? Take the free kick. Is that a kick of the ball? And they give him the free kick. Ridiculous. I know I am being positive, but he shouldn't have taken the free kick. 
He's just come on. Frustrating is the word. <laughs> oh, we're definitely not going to give up. Definitely not. Well, I don't think many people saw that coming. City lose 2-1 here at Newcastle. Uh, I do wonder whether the first half incident when City scored and had the goal disallowed and Kevin De Bruyne got booked had some bearing on the game. You've also got to say that City had chances to score which they didn't take advantage of and then ultimately paid the penalty. And it means in the title race now, of course, City uh, potentially could fall, fall further behind. But that's football. I've been a Manchester City fan for a long, long time and I'm sure that lots of people watching this will also be thinking what I'm thinking, which is that uh, when you're a blue, you remain a blue through wins, defeats, draws, whatever it is, and you keep supporting your team. That's certainly what I'll be doing, and I'll be back doing another vlog for the game at the weekend against Arsenal at the Etihad Stadium. So if you're around about and you see me, please come and say hello, and you can take part in the match day vlog. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again next time.